girl k-e-r-r-y carrie and welcome back to my channel today's video we're talking all about 2024 fashion trends i know i'm a little bit late but better late than never okay grab your water grab your coffee grab your tea grab your drink of choice and let's get straight into these trends because I have 10 of them and I'm going to try to get through them as quickly as possible. If you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle and travel videos, make sure that you subscribe and like this video. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a post. All right, welcome back. Pull up a chair and get a seat in the front. I know somebody's going to ask me what I'm wearing and I like sharing so I'm gonna tell you guys this look is so good I've already shared it in a reel in a shorts in a TikTok. so if you follow me on those platforms you would have seen this look already I am obsessed it's a black owned brand called Kershella Reed and it's this knit two-piece set I've actually turned the front to the back and I'm gonna step to the side so you guys can see the cutaway absolutely love it is super super long so I went ahead and paired it with my gold platform eels from Amazon so I could just get some of the fabric up off the floor and a gold bag from the vault label another black owned brand my uh, shop Koi airing and speaking of shop Koi, I'm going to leave their link to their website in the description box for you because their shop is open again. There's so many things I want in it. I need to, I need to stop. Okay. Uh, next up, what else? Uh, the rings, not these, but the ones in the Get Ready With Me video, those are from the Mai Resort Collection, another black-owned brand, Obsessed. The fro is back, and I'm loving it. I'm also, I've also been playing in makeup, so let me, let me know if you guys want to see an updated, like, makeup video, and I can go ahead and start to Put something together for you guys because you already know I love sharing okay that's what we do all right let's get into my 10 2023 fashion trends you're gonna be seeing these um, for spring and summer uh, I, I'm not sure how many of these I'm really going to dive into. Some of these I already own, and so I'm happy for that. I don't have to go out and, like, purchase anything new unless it is something that really, like, catches my eye, and I'm like, okay, I really, really want that. But let me know in the comments which of these trends you will be trying and also which of these are your favorites. Trend number one extra large bags and you guys already know i love me a little itty bitty bag but extra large bags are trending uh brands like ysl have already like put out their uh, bags there's also the extra large uh bottega jody bag and there are tons of dupes to those as well there's, I'm also seeing Coach putting out um, versions of uh, their extra large bags. And this is just to so that you can take everything and you don't have to put anything in your hands. They're leaving the little mini micro bags for maybe like the evening time. But the extra large bags are back. And they look like they're going to be here to stay. Am I mad at it? No, I'm not mad at it because for me, I love taking everything with me, but I just love me a little bitty itty bag. It's not practical. And so the extra large bags are back. They're practical. You can take them to work. If you have kids, you can drop uh, their diapers in there. Their, um, their bottles in there. You can put every and anything in there and i'm going to be popping up pictures and inspiration on the screen to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about so that's trend number one 
trend number two and don't mind me i wrote everything down i'm looking at my book because you know the teacher is still in still in me okay next time me i go grab out my whiteboard and just start right trend number two and we're gonna get into shoes and i'm seeing uh sling back eels and i'm gonna mix it and i'm doing sling back eels at sling backs and kitten eels so for the shoes uh sling back eels not a full-on pump but it does have the strap in the back and then kitten eels the little itty bitty eels so if you are not a four inch gal or a eye eel girl then this trend is for you you are able to wear stylish shoes but they are super low and i know some people don't really like kitten eels me i don't mind i do have a few kitten eels and i also have a few slingback eels so i'm happy that i already have um those trends in my closet so i don't necessarily have to go out and splurge or shop for them but those are trending i especially love the slingback eels because most of the times the toe is like pointy and so i can wear those under my pants because i'm a pants girl i love me a long pants a long trousers and so wearing those lets you, that little eel um, kind of uh, peek out from underneath the pants and i don't have to worry about my pants not hitting the ground so much because the kidney eel is kitten it is super short so that's great and i'll be able to walk around in them for longer periods of time because the eel is not super high so that's trend number two trend number three i love it is uh elevated basics on basic basic or what some people are calling quiet luxury yes honey it's just um basics your button-down shirt basic silhouettes your button-down shirt your uh, classic blazer style um tr uh, eye waisted trousers nothing with uh, nothing monogram nothing with brand labels or print all over it and um these you will be able to have in your closet for a very very long time because they don't have prints on them and so you are able to take these from year to year season to season like i'm always telling you guys you need a button down shirt you need a white button down shirt but it can be elevated like my frankie shop button down shirt all the shoulders are padded so it's a white button down shirt it's a basic but it's elevated it has the shoulder pads in there the sleeves is super long the cuff is super long as well it has like the deep v cut in the sides it has a string in the back and so that elevated just a regular white um, button down shirt and took it from zero to 100 your white t-shirt nothing with prints um or labels on it um your denim pants no rips no tears none of that um your black belt no label uh a black blazer and a um simple silhouette or you can take it up a notch and um, cinch in the waist like my Frankie shop hourglass uh, blazer, but elevated basics are in. So, and we all have these. So just add those to your fashionable rotation and you would be good to go. Next, trend number four. Trend number four, I'm seeing a lot of um, shades of green and lilac. And I know that the color for the year is like peach fuzz or something like that. And I love that color. But um, on the runway, I saw a lot of uh, greens. I saw a lot of um, lilac, which is uh, like purple. So it would be the lighter tone to this. I love it. 
I love it. I've been buying, not intentionally though, um, shades of green and lilac, but that's only because I'm a color gal and I love colors. So I would have been doing this regardless, but while researching and while watch, watching the fashion shows, I realized that I saw a ton of um, greens, whether it's light or the darker tone greens, and I love it. You can also pair those two colors together for a bomb color combo, which you know I'm here for. Trend number five. Trend number five, we're, we're halfway there. Fringe. I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of fringes, especially in skirts. And a thing that I'm seeing with the fringe so you have these like long skirts with the fringe and then you put on like a bomber jacket over it. Oh my God. I love it. Uh, if you have anything fringe in your closet, pull it, pull it to the front. I love it. It's just that extra detailing that once you put on something with uh, fringes, you don't really have to do too much because the fringe is doing everything for you. So you don't need to do much. And I love that it's, they're making it um, fashion as effortless as possible for you guys. So you don't have to um, go too far or do too much to pull off a look. A lot of brands have these. I'm obsessed. I already have a few fringe pieces in my closet, so I'm not necessarily going to go out and shop for uh, fringe pieces, but it is a trend I saw and I love, and I can actually wear these in like different colors or the colors that I'm seeing right now, which is uh, the lilac and the green. Uh, fashion trend number six, the rosettes. The rose, the florals, they're back. They're back. They never left the scene for 2024, okay? We saw them in 2023. We saw them on shoes. We saw them where you have your uh, rosette brooch, uh, earrings, um, what else? Chokers, because I have about four rosette uh, chokers they will be coming to the front of the closet yes i also have a green one <laughs> ah already with the color yes so you're seeing you they are they're bringing them back um still 3d and also they're playing with them on um just like a floral print but making it like big like a big floral print or a big flower like across a top or on a skirt or dress it is here it did not leave i'm so happy for that because we have pieces from 2023 with um with this trend and we wouldn't want to put them away just yet or put them out so that is amazing let us keep it like that fashion trend number seven and this is another trend that is a spin in the block. And you guys already know, I'm not mad. Denim. It not gonna wear. It not gonna know where. So just, just, just get with the flow, okay? Because denim is here to stay. And as always, it's not on a regular, regular denim. So do something with it play around with it, get extra with it, because that that's what they're talking about, okay? So it's the Canadian tuxedo, it's the Canadian tuxedo, but elevated. Like, I already have this uh, denim woven bag from the Vault label, which is a black-owned brand in denim, and I'm obsessed with it. 
I'm going to grab two other things in denim. That's just taking the denim to another level and not make it look like your everyday denim that I'm going to put on to wear to work or put on to go run some errands or to go pick up the kids. Think out of the box. When I say think out of the box, I'm talking this is a denim pants, but this is not a regular denim pants, okay? I don't know, I already know so my husband is the biggest eater, so I do not even want to hear what I'm saying about this. But it's this uh, good American denim pants, but it has rhinestones all over. And I'm going to pop up a picture because, of course, I wore it to a party. And, of course, I was extra. And, of course, me never care because girl look good. And once girl look good, that's it. Okay? So absolutely absolutely love it um if it is still available i will link it for you i got it in a size eight i do i'm gonna have to take the waist in because i lost a few pounds and so your girl is extra fine right now and i paired it with my denim jacket but this is not a regular denim jacket it's giving quarterback vibes because do you see the shoulder it is it has this extra padding in it that allows it to just like sit on your shoulders. The back as well, it has extra padding all in the back. And this denim jacket I've had for a while is from Alexander Wang. I'm obsessed with this. And of course, I can do all of it together because why not? Nothing wrong with it, just be extra and done. So yes, denim has um, the denim spin the block and I'm not mad because I have a lot of denim and, and I need to get wear. So if you are with me, let me know in the comments. Next, fashion trend number eight. Fashion trend number eight is preppy school. Another trend that uh, spun the block because she's, she's been here for a hot minute. Okay, so this just getting extra, extra preppy. So I'm going to pop up a picture on the side to show you my take on the preppy school style. I went ahead and um, did a white button down shirt. But that white button down shirt is from Zara. It has like an extra pocket in the front. And that's what I mean when I said elevated basic like it has this little pocket in the front normally you wouldn't see a pocket on the front of a white button down shirt it also has like black stitching in it absolutely love i paired it with a tie that i got from my husband's closet um my black pants those are signed blake times the drop um trousers and then uh my hair was braided back. I put my sunglasses on and my little uh, coach bag and a red socks. So that's just taking it up an extra notch with my Prada loafers. You're seeing the picture on the screen right now. Preppy taken up a notch. You can do preppy. I could have done um, a pleated skirt because that is um, on trend right now as well with some like um, with some white socks. I could do it with uh, boots. You name it. The preppy vibe is here. I could have done it with tuck in my white button down shirt and wear like a bummer jacket over it. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to do that. I saw Brown Girl Chi did something similar to that. I'm going to see if I can find a picture of her and pop it up on the screen to show you. I'm obsessed. I love it. That's, it's, put your own spin on it. What is your interpretation of the trend? Just do it and put it out there. So that's trend number eight. We have two more to go. And the final two fashion trends that I'm eyeing and loving for 2024. Number nine is <laughs> the micro shorts. 
the hot shorts. A battery rider wear on me a fee night. Uh, short shots I do it, but your legs are for pretty. <laughs> Listen. Who? My husband. What? I wouldn't even want to repeat what my husband would have said when he see me in a something like that. I love seeing it. But it's not for me. Okay? It is not for me. If it is for you, step forward. But I know. Me know my limit. And them little piece of shots that will itch up under your body is not my limit. Me know my limit. Me know my limit. But I love it. The first person I saw in something like this was Lori Harvey. And when I tell you I gagged, I was like, girl, girl. If my husband would not look at me sideways, I would be, I would definitely be in the streets in that look. I'm going to try to find it and pop it up. Obsessed. I'm seeing it all over the internet. And I love it. I love it. If you don't want to wear it that short, you can always put a few more inches on it and wear it, wear it with um, some stockings. Wear it with like an oversized blazer. But I love it. I love it. I especially love when they do like the color block. So um, like a blue with um, some like black, like um, opaque tights. It's down, okay? Let me know how you feel about the um the art shorts let me know how you feel about the micro shorts because um not last year but the year before it was the micro mini skirts then the maxi skirts came last year and you can still wear them this year as well but now we have the micro shorts them little tiny sitting there Let me go sit down before pastor read me out at church. Mm -mm. Trend number 10. T trend number 10 is peplum. I love this trend. I already have like three different peplum tops that I cannot wait to wear. Matter of fact, I've had these since last year because I knew. I knew. I knew that they were going to be a thing in 2024. So in 2024, we're seeing the peplum is back. Old school coming back in the new school and I'm loving it. I'm loving it, okay? So you can wear um, a peplum jacket, a top, and another play off of a peplum is like the drop M or low M dresses. Bring them, come, bring them on, bring them on. I just saw Zendaya in like a drop M uh, skirt, which is a play off of a peplum top. I'm going to pop it up on the screen because she's promoting her new movie. And you know, Zendaya and La Roach, they don't miss. Okay. They, that combo is like beef patty and cocoa bread. Rice and peas on a Sunday. Yeah, Zendaya and La Roche, they don't miss. I absolutely love this skirt set from her. Like I said, the skirt with the drop M's um, is a play off of like the peplum top. And I love, love, love it. And just like that, we've come to the end of another video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and sticking around to the end. Let me know from 1 to 10 which of those fashion trends you will be trying, which of them you already have in your closet so you don't need to go out and shop for. And also, if I didn't mention one of the trends that you are eyeing, let me know in the comments so we can have a conversation. Thank you guys always for coming back. For another video before you go make sure that you like and subscribe if you love the vibe 
hit that notification bell so you never miss a post. I will catch you guys in another video. But until then, be good. Mwah.